You know, now that pesky little subscribe to PewDiePie, you know, the PewDiePie versus T-Series things out the way, we can focus on the real issue here, which is ISP versus iSorrow Productions. I don't know who you think you are, buddy. But I'm coming for ya! Oh hey, I, I didn't see you there, I was hiding behind my 91,000 YouTube subscribers! Welcome to the ISP channel with my series, Terrible Ideas So Terrible That I Could Not Be Bothered To Upload Them To My Main Channel For Fear Of Being Ostracized From The Community! It's a, it's a bit of a mouthful. And you know, I have played so much Prison Architect through the years that you might be wondering, what exactly do you even have left to do? Well. There was one thing on my little ideas list that's kind of been sitting there for quite a while. And uh, I'm not kidding you when I'm saying this uh, this series exists for a reason. Uh, I am gonna need to activate one... <laughs> one little mod there. Just, just a singular mod I might need. Yeah, that's right. I'm a maniac, but at least I embrace it. Ah, so welcome to my prison where we flush out the evil in people. I, I, I tried to put the emphasis on flush there, but I accidentally put it on the evil. God, now you may be wondering, uh, where exactly is the prison? And uh, I've got to agree, I haven't built it yet. It, it definitely needs some of that uh, prison pizzazzing. I've got to pizzazz up this prison. Is that a word? Uh, much like my City Skylines episode, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and make a very different looking prison. Uh, something that I'd say will be more of a work of art than it will be a functioning prison slash uh, toilet. Oh yeah, so where are we where are we building this prison that both palm trees can grow over here but pine trees can grow over that does not make any ecological sense. I shall be filing a formal complaint to the game director although I don't actually know much about trees so they'll probably correct me on that one. Uh, so um, <laughs> can you tell what I'm going for here? Do, do I need to make it a little bit more? It's a toilet. It's a giant toilet. Uh, question is, is this best or worse than what was uh, my hammer and sickle in the last episode. I I don't actually know. So one of the big issues of uh, turning your prison into a giant toilet is making sure that the prison actually looks like a giant toilet, which is kind of hard to do if you don't have an art degree, which um, I don't know if you can tell, I don't have an art degree. But I, I think this is probably the uh, the best we're going to do for our porcelain throne. Hey boys, so you heard it right. Get everything off the van because we're building a giant toilet to flush criminals down with. I also don't have any money to pay you with. This is what it must feel like to have a child. I, I can now see it. My, my legacy is being carried on right in front of my eyes. And people thought this was a dumb idea. Look at this. I've got the water pump station and the uh, the power station down here in the the outlet pipe right there. So that kind of makes sense. Actually, no, wait a second. The, the water pump station would probably go up here in, in the big block, right? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. My knowledge of toilets, I, I've let you all down. Oh, Jesus. I, I kind of went to go do something and left the game running, and my toilet is filthy. Also, those, those aren't deuces. That's wood, okay? The workers just have left, have left their trash in my toilet. Oh, God. I didn't even think about this. With so many toilets comes... So much responsibility. And obviously by responsibility, I mean uh, plumbing. I need a lot of plumbing. I have gone ahead and put the head honcho, the warden up here though, in the uh, top of the toilet. I'm not entirely sure what you would call this part of the toilet. I, I am no toilet expert, unfortunately. So hopefully he up here can uh, oversee the prison and we should probably actually start making it look like a prison. So I'm just going to do the smart thing, which is just to turn this entire area here into a holding cell and then just focus on security from the outside. Now security, unsurprisingly, will be the least of my worries because any way we go about this, the prisoners are never going to want to be here. And with the amount of toilets that I'll be adding, it's going to be pretty damn hard to keep them in anyway. And here we see the great toilet horde heading westward for the winter. You see, prisoners when they see toilets have this inane ability to scurry their way through the plumbing and escape, so we need to make sure that that won't be possible. And realistically, the only way we can really get around that is by simply putting uh, landmines literally everywhere. That's right boys, landmines. They'll fix all your problems. Alright, it might take us a while to actually get to the landmines because uh, there's a lot of toilets coming in so far and I still have like five trucks here filled to the brim 
with toilets. So my giant wall of landmines is probably going to take a little bit of time to actually get... Oh, found a note. So I think overall, we're not going to worry too much about people escaping from the toilets, as it's really just an inevitability. They're going to find a way to scurry through no matter what. Instead, we just need to make sure that they don't make it out of the, uh... Out of... Out of... The out of the world, really. Right, I'm, I'm just gonna go, like, tab out for five minutes while we get through all of these toilet trucks. Oh my god, look at that. All those landmines are now placed down and, uh, the first bunch of toilets are in, but this is definitely not where I'm, uh, gonna be leaving it. Uh, first things first, so we, we really need to get around to learning how to clean. It's getting pretty bad around here. You know, on top of the landmines, I feel like we should maybe put an outside perimeter wall, just in case anyone is smart enough to simply see the giant red flag coming out of the ground with the skull and crossbones and just walk around it. Jesus Christ, the plumbing and water bill for this place is going to be insane. I had no idea what to do with like the, the um, I guess this would be the toilet seat lid right there. So I just turned it into a massive cleaning cupboard. <laughs> It's kind of, it sounds kind of weird now I think about it. Now, it does say here there are no canteens accessible by this cell, but because of the mud, I'm pretty sure they will be eating out of the toilet. Don't take that out of context, please, and use it to at me on Twitter with, because that's a bit weird. But, because I also have the no room requirements mod, technically, I could just put down a canteen of anywhere, because there's, there's actually nothing that I need to do, so I could just, like, boom. One, one square cantina. The, the red mark is gone. Though the cantina now needs a kitchen. Uh, this is getting complicated. There you go, look. <laughs> it's my canteen and my kitchen right there. Let's just go ahead and, uh, hold on. I, I can make this look pretty damn good. There you go. Perfect. This is probably, without a doubt, <laughs> the, the worst thing I've ever done. Now you understand what I mean with this series. Jesus, just when, when I got rid of all of the toilets from before and the toilet, the great toilet truck backup, uh, yeah, just put down a thousand more. I don't know why I always insist on doing things that just are uh, bound to end up giving me RSI at some point in life because this is this is all that's happening right now. Um, I, I think my janitors are broke. They kind of just saw the state my prison was in and just... They're gone. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Someone dropped off a bunch of ingredients in the kitchen. <laughs> Look at what this guard's doing, though. Wait a sec, why am I giving them beds? In fact, hold on. Why don't I just give them one single bed for the whole prison? There you go, it kind of evens out the amount of money we have to spend on all the toilets if we only have one bed to buy. Thinking smart today, I am. Now, you may be wondering, hey, you got yourself a giant toilet prison, but where are all the prisoners? Something I was just actually asking myself. You see, I got myself a bed now, which means, <laughs> which means the prison is definitely ready to be opened, but it is a question of how many prisoners we actually want to let in. You see, we're gonna have to be smart and only allow a certain amount of prisoners in, just because I, I don't know. Uh, no, screw that one. We're gonna let every single one of them in. There you go. Next intake, 190. I think we've got room for 190 people. I should probably actually get some guards. I currently only have one and I have 30 workmen. So yeah, we should probably just get, 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 get a whole bunch of them, really. Just, there you go. Live free, my friends. You know, just the sheer pressure of living in working in a toilet prison has clearly just been too much on these men. Somebody go put them out of their misery. You guys have guns, right? Oh god, you guys are really tempting fate going that close to the land. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh. The prisoners have arrived and I just... Yeah, I just heard an explosion already. <laughs> yeah, even with the amount of guards I have, I, I do not have nowhere near enough to actually get them all in in a fast manner. So I'm going to go ahead and just build another wall around here so they shouldn't keep running out and running into my landmines. So, oh, that guy's now a bag of garbage. Uh, sorry, prisoner. Don't, don't really have any other way to dispose of bodies yet. Oh my god. What the hell's going on here? Oh, no, the, the cook's having fun on the toilet, though. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what is going- Oh, no, they're free. I don't- I don't even want to know what's happening to that poor toilet under there right now, but can, we, can I get, like, an F in the chat preemptively? Mm. So I guess that whole 190 people trying to use one toilet thing didn't go too well, but that- Don't worry, the janitor's cleaning up the dead guy. Wait, is the janitor dead? 
Oh yeah, he wasn't cleaning up a dead body. He was the dead body. He still had the mop in hand. God damn it, I had hope. Oh, there's still more of them coming as well. Oh god. Oh, I should probably put down a shower for them as well. But where should I put them? Sorry, did I say them? I actually only meant uh one. One shower should do it. Also right in the middle of like my toilet empire here. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how this works. Mm, so I kind of assumed the biggest and strongest guy would get the bed. Which I don't know if that's what's happened right now. Because a guy called Welch is currently just hanging out there. And he's been in prison for vandalism and perjury. I don't think you're as tough as you think you might be, Mr. Welt. Oh, never mind. He immediately just lost it to Fairborn, who hit blackmail. Did, uh, did you blackmail him by any chance to get the bed? Yeah, so every time they go to eat food, uh, it never seems to go too well. Mostly because their food... Oh, the four people just died. Four people just died as soon as I opened the gate. Uh, good news is uh, I did manage to feed 1% of the prisoners. That's actually pretty good numbers if you think about it. There's, there's someone in there that has eaten food. I have no idea what I should do with this big space up here though and these little, the little space down here. I, I need to think of something dastardly to put up here. Actually, I got a perfect idea and it involves solitary. Now, obviously because the rooms actually don't have any requirements, I could just go ahead and just put solitary cells down one by one. I don't even have to put walls around them. I, I'm gonna save this prison so much money. Hey guys, I've essentially just made loads of naughty corners where we can put the prisoners on timeout. Except that they're not really corners, obviously. Uh, they're, they're just naughty spots. Loads and loads of naughty spots. And for whatever reason, one of my guards is actually in the solitary cell with one of the prisoners who is... Oh, he's a murderer too, that makes sense. Why? What are you doing? They're just sort of like having a cuddle. I, I, I can understand it, but everyone needs a cuddle at some point. Even murderers and false imprisonment. Uh, I think we might have just had an escape attempt. I don't know what's uh, <laughs> giving me that idea. Now, I'm not entirely sure how he got out here. If he just ran through the gate which is highly possible so we might need to up security just even more so although it technically might help if I even research security in the first place you know no one's really dealing with this dead guy and he just seems to be uh, continuously spurting blood from somewhere should anyone want to no? Oh, yeah, here we go. I'll just go ahead and punish him for solitary. <laughs> Someone could collect his body and put him in a naughty corner. So, day two in toilet prison land, they were essentially having half the prisoners now in handcuffs. Um, mostly because they keep killing each other. I've essentially just created a battle royale toilet. And that shower's still not even installed. Where the hell is it? I uh, uh, might have just had an accidental mine go off there. Because the prisoners, because of the backup with the amount of trucks we've got going, got off over here. And, um... Uh, you think one just walked into a landmine? Well, we're gonna have to talk to legal about that one. So what I found is once you actually are completely uh, blown up by one of the landmines, your body just sort of stays there until you bleed out to nothing and wither away. Although, that is a weird yellow stain there. I don't know what that could be. Oh dear. 14 require medical attention and 11 are awaiting solitary. Oh, good thing we got plenty of room for them. How exactly this guy is managing to have the most soundest sleep in the world <laughs> around this chaos. I have no idea. have to be one of the, like, the most heinous criminals. Like, a real goddamn mad person to actually be able to do this. Who are you, Luck? <laughs> Video game piracy, yeah, it makes sense. You're an absolute f***ing nutter. A bit disappointingly, I've yet to have anyone actually, you know, tunnel their way out of my toilet. Uh, there are so many pipes around here, I thought it would have been inevitable, or maybe they've somehow already done it, and I've not even noticed. I mean, maybe. Who knows? I didn't even realise I haven't even put maximum security prisoners allowed now. I'm gonna whack all of these all the way to the top. Kind of gave up building more offices for these people, so now their offices are just one by one squares where they can do all their work. Oh, I forgot. I can also put down Lego bricks. Ah, oh, okay. This is gonna make the solitary cells even more fun. Uh, if you don't know what the Lego bricks do, they are part of the unethical walling mod, and they're essentially like landmines, but 12 million times worse. Like, I would take the landmine over a Lego brick any day of the week. God, <laughs> someone just got brought into solitary, walked on a Lego brick and died. <laughs> I mean, if you ever thought your day was going bad, you could, you know, step on a Lego brick and die. How is, how is this always happening? How is there one guy that always manages to get over here? Does he just run through the gate? What, what, what is the scenario here? Hold on, there's gotta be like 
a tunnel, maybe. There could possibly be a tunnel under one of these toilets. So I'm just going to put us into shakedown and we're going to see what we can find. We've already just found so much stuff. Are you kidding me? We are some very, very brave guardsmen right now because they're willing to go through all of these toilets, which I definitely would not be interested in. You know, you've got a successful battle royale prison when they don't even manage to get through reception without being unconscious. <laughs> well, time to spice this up a little bit with some guard towers. I completely forgot these things were even in the game. Hopefully this solves our whole uh, people running out the front gate and running into our landmines down here so we don't have to keep spending money on new landmines. We also have some armed guards now for the prison which should go nicely in my new guard towers. Also gonna go ahead and uh, preemptively put some Lego around them just in case anyone gets a smart idea of going up there that's uh, not supposed to be. So essentially it's just sort of a constant riot and some clever sod has gone ahead and broken one of the toilets. God damn it. Who did this? Literally, which one of you did this? Because I'm going to put every single one of you in solitary until I find out who it was. These toilets are expensive. Uh, I put down an infirmary and <laughs> I think I think we've got quite a few people who might need some help. Why is this guy naked? There you go. I also might as well put the morgue down as well. I don't even want to know how many bodies are going to turn up here immediately. Uh oh. So now my uh, Lego solitary cells have become a bit of a problem because now I have doctors who keep coming in and healing the people as they are dying on the Lego bricks. Uh, it's kind of a never-ending cycle until the doctor gets bored. Is it unethical for me to put the electric chair in the middle of the holding cell? I'm just trying to think of pure efficiency here. Yeah, that's a... It's a heck of a lot of dead people. I just realised that these workers are still here. They've just been endlessly doing this jig since I started playing. Oh, I fixed them. I put a wall there and they're free. I, I freed them. Oh, the whole guard tower thing's ended up going pretty well. Um... <laughs> Who who is going well for though? Yeah. Uh That's not good. So uh the prisoners just tried to break out. Didn't go too well for them, if you can't tell. I like how I went from having a backup of trucks to a backup of hearses. Oh yeah, it's just the one you'd think, but uh no. It's quite a few of them. Yeah, prisoner count's actually gone down to 158 right now, so I think we need to do like a big shebang right now to just, just finally put the nail in the coffin here. And uh, I mean that, um, quite literally. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and put free fire on, we'll do a shakedown, a lockdown, a bang up, and then we'll also go ahead and call in the riot police. We'll get all three of them. Uh, we're just gonna keep the riot police there, and if, you know, they accidentally start some sort of weird battle royale between the riot police and the prisoners. That'd be a shame, really. Uh, we're also just gonna go ahead and take away, let's say, literally everything. No more food or yard time or shower time or sleep time. It's pure lockup time. Apparently I have 158 prisoners, but it does not feel like I have 158 prison. Oh, it's because they're all dead. Uh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> this is a mess right now. Someone killed one of my riot police. There's just a dude with a gun walking through. What are you doing in here? And so far, none of them have actually started a riot, which is a bit disappointing considering I've taken away everything from you and you're still so happy for the toilets. You just can't get enough of them. Oh, I just got another like five guys die over here. Gee, can you guys just start a riot where I want you to riot. Oh wait, I think I realise what happens. When the new prisoners come through, uh, they walk here and get shot by the guard tower. We need to, we need to prove this right. When's the next shipment? Right, nine hours from now, we'll figure out if that's the problem, because even before I had free fire on, uh, I think they were doing it anyway, but we'll check it either way. All right, so the new prisoner should be arriving in a couple hours now, and I've already preemptively called the paramedics, and I'm gonna get the riot police out here too, just in case. All right, the prison van has arrived, and it is the moment of truth as to what type of prison I've actually built here. Alright, so they should be getting off any moment now, and, or it's just gonna keep driving and run over that guard, excuse me. Oh wait, there you go. They, they get off down here. So the guys are off. Uh, we're gonna wait for a guard to come get them, wherever my guard might be, and we'll see what happens to these poor guys. Bear in mind, this guy's just got, <laughs> gone to prison for tax evasion, so we're gonna figure out <laughs> if he gets his just punishment. Okay, it's even worse than I thought. <laughs> 
When they walk into the prison, they walk into my wooden spikes and die. Are you kidding me? Well, the great mystery of what happened to all my prisoners. <laughs> Well, the false accounting guy, he's dead, everyone's dead. Uh, it just how it happens to be that you walk into my prison, the guards take you through the wooden spikes for whatever reason and just kill you. Uh, that's right, you walk into my prison, a guard puts you on a wooden spike and you die. So uh, I, have, I have a good prison system here where you simply walk in and you die. You get killed. I, I have created a monstrosity here. An absolute monstrosity. They just keep piling up. There's just more and more goddamn prisoners. They're just throwing onto the spike pit. The paramedics are doing nothing. They're just looking in shock. Yeah, I think we're going to end it off here for today. I have created a absolute monstrosity. One that I don't really wish to revisit anytime soon. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button down below. So we can beat that dastardly, horrible ISR production who keeps stealing my my identity we need to get rid of him whatsoever and uh yeah i i, I don't know what I, i'm still figuring out what the the flow of the second channel is going to be but it's mostly just going to be terrible stuff like this and uh that's all really but until next time guys bye